I'm Dr. Julie Busby and this is part two of how to trim your dog's nails. One of the most important things is taking control of each toe gently, holding the paw. This is Luke, one of my dogs, and he's great for his nails being trimmed, so I don't even need anybody restraining. Most commonly, people will trim nails like this, horizontally, parallel with the ground surface, but the quick, the blood and, and nerve supply, run lower in the nail and so if we trim on a much more uh, steep angle almost vertical or if not even angle back off the vertical we can take more off of the nail and still stay away from the quick so I'm going to demonstrate that good boy Lukey you're okay and I literally just take this is my habit I literally just start shaving back it's especially important in a black nail and we're going to do a part three in the series on black nail dog trims but I'm going to shave back until I see this right here. I call that the pre-quick. The quick is the blood and nerve supply. This center darker pink mauve colored material tells me that I'm getting close and I need to stop. I don't want to hurt him. And so again, I, I'm trimming in an angled fashion and then I just come around to the edges and take off the sharp spot. So I've got a nail that is functionally very short, but as I said in the beginning, I didn't just chop off the tip. I curved it back and took off more of the top. And now when he's gating, this is gonna allow him to have less nail to have to break over, which is really essential for good, good gate. Nail trimming, keeping nails short is also important for posture. So again, here we go. I'm gonna angle back. I'm just gonna start by taking off a piece. I see I'm nowhere close to that pre-quick that I talked about. This is still all dead nail tissue that can be trimmed off. And now I'm gonna actually take another cut in that same angle. Good job, Lukey, good boy and then come to the sides and round it off. And you can see that I'm moving away from the white flaky tissue and more to the dark tissue. It actually changes as the tissue becomes live tissue. And I wouldn't want to go any further than that. The white flaky material is all gone. I trim his nails. I try to do it every week to 10 days. Often it kind of gets stretched out to every two weeks, but it's really critical to keep up with it. I think it's one of the most important things you can do for your dog's health. So again, the white flaky is gone and we're into this pink colored tissue. And if I go any further, I would hurt him and make him bleed, which we obviously don't want to do. Good boy, Luke. You're such a good boy. Good boy. I hear your tail. Okay. And so again, we've angled back. I'll show you a side view where the nails are short. I've used the trimmers, turning them edge to edge to take off any, any sharp edges. And I'm happy with that nail trim. I can't go, I'd love his nails to be even shorter, but I physically can't do it without getting into the quick. So this is a short nail trim for this particular dog.